Okay, so this is the assembly video for the Eco Stoves Australia cook stove. This is a rocket stove made of steel and it has a bunch of flat panels which slot together very simply. Um, but there's a little trick to getting it to go together easily. So we've got all of our side panels which are in one section. We have these two big um, so these are the big side panels, these are kind of like the in-between panels. And so the first thing to do is to get a couple of, well, four of these M8 dome nuts. The nuts are all uh, either M8 or M6, so we've got the bigger M8 rods, which just refers to 8mm, and M6 rods and nuts, which are 6mm. And the domes are the ones that look like little round domey things, and then the flat nuts are these ones that are flat, as the name would suggest. So, we take four of these, just take them off the, um, off the end of there, Oops. and put two up here, and put two down here. Now the point will be fairly obvious, we're just creating a bit of space underneath the slot to allow for the tabs to sit in easily. Okay, now we are going to take, the, there, there are seven uh, of these panels, tab panels. Um, this one smallest goes here. Make sure that it lines up with the top. Don't put it the other way around where it sticks a little bit high. You don't want that. So make sure it goes that way. Then we have these two, now, basically the principle is everything with holes or the grill goes on the inside and these little slots go to the back. So inside means uh, here. This is the matching pair to that one, slot to the back. Then we have these side panels which go here. Now, can go that way but it's a bit short that way. Spin around. This black one goes on the outside, the one of similar size with the holes, put the holes towards the top, the top being this end, okay, like so. Same with the back panel, this is the back panel, holes on the inside towards the top. Now you see what happens here, see how we just have to lift this guy a little bit to allow that to just line up there. Very simple. Line up that slot at the top. Lift this one a little bit just to let it drop, drop in like so. Then um, you might find I don't always do this, but a little trick to just make it a little bit easier is to just put a little bit of tape there and on the inside just to hold those in place. Because what we're going to do is now drop this panel on top line up these slots and I've got to jiggle these two and this one to just line up. It can be a little bit jiggly. So what I usually do is I start by lining up these two here. See how it just dropped in and then get this bottom corner lined up. Right? And I just wiggle those two panels until they lined up. So I've got two in, two in here. Right? Then I just Gently push, lift and push that one over so it lines up. That's that next one. And then again, the same, the next one. And then this one I do last. And then it just drops in. Very simple, very easy. Okay, now we're going to need these guys. Just open up the package. And I've put the nuts on already, which is just a way of me checking that they all work and all fit. And you'll find that two of these some of you might have packages with where I put two and three where we've got flats that's really just to show you the direction of those nuts when how they should go on and then some of you will have a little package of extra nuts like this so we're going to use some of these nuts these are the M8 flats and what you want to do is start with one with the flat side facing into the middle all right and just thread in a little bit and I'm going to start with this corner, okay, 
and I'm going to just roll this whole thing up on this back, like so, and thread this one on here, and that's going to just hold the whole thing together, while we then put in these four other bolts, just making sure that the camera is picking all that up, looks like this, okay, unthread the dome, slide this through, thread on the flat, and what we're looking for is to centre the bolt, so we've got the same amount of thread sticking out each side, and just make them finger tight for now. And uh, you can see I've got a nice little bit of carpeted bench here. You can also just use a bit of cardboard for something to protect the surface of your workspace. Uh, again, I need some flats out of this little package. Pull them out. Now, there should be a couple of spares in this package. I do that deliberately. So if you do end up with two nuts left over, don't panic. That was deliberate. that on like so okay now they're the easy ones to put on now I'm going to well just first of all I'll actually leave two on one side take the other two off just open up one side of these right I'm going to uh, lift this up now you see the top, no you can't, okay now you can, you see the top of this, the hole that we're using is this one that sticks forward and back, not the two tabs that stick up, we use that for something else, that's our attachment point for the cooktop, if you are getting the cooktop, that's what we use to hold that all on, so again just Centering and finger, making a finger, but now, especially this top, don't make it too tight just yet. Um, put the bottom one in. And I'll just rock it forward. I'm just going to rock it right forward, like so. And have a package with you'll find uh, these two tools which come packed up tagged up with two other bits and pieces now I'll show you what these are these are actually are uh, spanners m8 holes m6 holes m8 hole in uh, sorry m8 for a spanner slot in the larger handle and m6 spanner slot in the smaller handle a uh, smaller tool okay for obvious reasons. Now we use these. Now we don't want to, we use these to tighten it up, but first of all, just loosen that a little bit at the top before we tighten the top piece. Get this round guy, drop that in so that it's down as far as it can go. Then we do these up tight and we use the end hole. just like that tight. That one's already got a nut so I can't use the end hole. I'm just going to use the slot there right, to lock it in. And I'll use the hole on this side. It doesn't have to be too tight, just nice and firm. And you see I've just locked these two. I can lift the whole unit from that because that's now locked in firmly. Okay, now just do these other three. There's that one. We're actually going to loosen that one again in a minute, but I'll just come back to that. Cut the base. It's not quite centered, so when you're doing this, just check that the threaded rod is centered. We want the same amount of thread sticking out each way. And that creates the spacer when we put the stainless steel heat shield on. That thread is the gap creates the gap. Okay, I'm just trying to take this off. 
benefit of taking these right off these extra surplus nuts for now is that I can see clearly where the center point is. And lock that in. All right, there are the five main bolts that hold this whole rig together. Then we have six smaller bolts, these thinner guys, which are compression bolts to just make the system very rigid because what happens when this thing gets hot is steel expands and it likes to buckle. And that is a, an unfortunate side effect of using metal to make a stove. Um, and there's nothing much I can do about it unless we just do something completely different, like make it out of clay, which is a whole other story. So right now, I'm just going to put these guys in, finger tight. Now before I get too carried away, I have one more thing to do here. I need to loosen this one. Using my spanners to loosen because I didn't put the door on it. Now the door is this one with the two little tabs that stick out. Now it's deliberately quite a loose fit. It only needs to expand a little bit, so I've just got to loosen this enough to expand that panel a little bit. Um, probably shouldn't have put that one in. Expand that one. So then, ah, this one. That's the culprit. Yeah, I usually do this before I put the M6s in. Sorry, wrong way. Harder. Counterclockwise for loose, clockwise for tighten. Okay, there we go. See how that just popped in? And that sits in like so. Deliberately loose, like I said, because when this thing expands and contracts and there's a little bit of buckling happens, this will keep working regardless. That's the idea. Okay, now we can tighten those nose again. I'm going to do these two up. We'll put in these six bolts. Now it's important so you can see that that's not a, obviously a bolt hole, but all these other small holes are for these bolts. M6 bolts. And you've just got to wriggle them through. I just take out one of the domes, wriggle it through. needs a little bit of thread. Um, if you find it's a little bit short, just loose, just take a little bit of thread from the other side. I did check these, so they should all be long enough. Um, as in plenty long enough, but not too long. Uh, line it up, there we go. And it needs about five millimeters of thread to get onto there. Bind. And last one down the bottom here. Now these bolts are all in the double wall cavity. So we've got double wall cavity here, double wall cavity here. Uh, this one is at the base of this double wall cavity and inside the double wall cavity. So these bolts are generally out of the way. They're not exposed to direct flame other than this one. But everything is stainless steel. These are stainless steel nuts and bolts, uh, stainless steel threaded rod, so they should be quite resilient. Now I'm just going to use the M6 pull to just uh, do these tighter. There's less room to play with, but there's enough. I find. And again, we don't have to make it too tight. Now, that is a little bit fiddly. If you do happen to have spanners, or even a shifter, they are also very useful. 
and a little bit easier to get into these spaces. But you can do it with those tools. If you're persistent, I'm just going to do it quickly because I don't want to make this video too long and boring. All right, those guys are done up. So that's the basic rocket stove. We still need to make a pellet basket, which I'll do in a separate video. Um, and we need to put the wheels on, which is the optional thing. I'll do that in a separate video. But the one last thing which we'll do for this um, build is to put on the side panels. So now I put five flat nuts with the flat side, the flange facing up. All right, so the materials always contacts the flange of these nuts. You see that? So there's a one side different than the other. And I give it about 10 millimeter of thread. Um, and I'm gonna put a stainless steel side panel. Straight on. Check that we're all about the same. And then five domes. Okay. We do this on both sides, and then this one is uh, ready to go except for the pellet basket, which we need to do next. I do have a pellet basket ready though, so I'll be able to show you. Alright, so. And then we can just use the tool to just clamp those on. So you can see I'm just doing about a quarter turn from finger tight to lock tight. About a quarter turn is enough. Don't have to really reef it too tight. Okay. There we go. That's one side done. The other side is exactly the same. Then this is the pellet basket set up for sticks, which sticks means it doesn't have this piece. If I want to burn pellets or some kind of granular biomass, then I would put that plate in. But in this case, it's going to be ideal for sticks with the have the plate out. And that just slides straight in like so. So that's the basic assembly. Um, I'll now do a separate video for the wheels and I'll do a video for this.